Okay, we're out of the pond again, and this is the Femi X8. And I just got the bag. Go. Sorry about that. I just got the new bag. It fits everything in. I got the extra battery, but we're just going to run on this battery. And we have... I can't see what it says. I'm sure you can, but I don't know what percentage is, but it looks like full bars. So we're good. And we're going to do a hand launch. So I'm just going to hold this in my dominant hand, or non-dominant hand, about eye level, and push the auto takeoff. There it goes. It's got 15 satellites. Start the video. Hope we don't have any errors. And we're going to check the camera works. Forward. Actually, it's a little more stable than the Anafi. I'm surprised. Uh, it's a lot heavier. But I do have my license, and I do have them registered. So, we're good to go that way. So, I'm assuming we've got 80-some percent or something. It was full, but it's been about a week or so since I charged it up. So, it's good to use it up. So, we're going to go out and go up to 70 meters. And you can notice that I'm having a harder time talking with this because it's twice as loud. So, I know there is an update for the camera or something but I haven't done that and the precision landing I don't have precision landing turned on because it doesn't work anyway so let's see what happens we're gonna go forward a bit we're gonna go up to about the same height as we were before and I've complained about this to Femi several times that the numbers on them are so small for me I have a hard time reading them. So we're up to 50 meters, and we're just gonna go up to about 60 some odd, something like that, and head out. Now, we're at 11, 12 meters per second, so that's pretty good. That's just about as fast as what the Anafi would go. It's actually faster than what the Anafi would go, because I think we're heading into the wind a little bit. So we're heading out towards that. Let's bring that down. I have not adjusted my tilt on my camera, so it's off a little bit. Uh, overload, well, don't do that, because it is warm. I'm not in sport mode. And because the angle I'm at, it's 440. And we're at 500. It's hard to see. It's really hard to see in the sun. If I wanted a shadow, I'd be pointing to my right and I wouldn't be facing the drone. So we're at 650. And we're still going. 750. Still going. And we lost it. And it flashed up. When we lost it, it flashed up, if you noticed, coordinates so that's a good thing now when it hits fail safe it goes into RTH so it doesn't hold so you have to kind of stop it yourself so I'm going to stop it I'm going to stop RTH and turn around I'm going to turn around to face that track again see if we can head further out and we're at 635 oh no I don't want to go that way sorry I'm up too high bring it down I used the wrong stick Yeah, we're at 
94. Let's come down some more. 80. Okay, what about there? Okay, let's see if we can go forward now. It's awfully hard to see. So we're... Are we going to hit 700? Hit 700. 750. Hit 800. We hit... So we've got lots of juice left. We're hit, are we going to hit 900? No, probably not. Yeah, 900. Using sticks in RTH mode will change flight route. So I'd say here, this is about the same range as the Xeno has. And not as much as the Anafi considering that this is supposed to have a much greater distance doesn't seem to work so i don't know what that's all about i'll have to look at that a little later and find out but we're up 70 meters or so so it should be it should be good i should be getting at least two kilometers but i'm not and if i'm getting over one on the anafi and i'm getting one on the xeno I should be getting more on this one, but I'm not. So, it's returning to home at nine, eight or nine meters per second, I think. Yeah, something like that. So that's disappointing. So the Anafi does a really good job. Uh, do I like the leg protectors on it? Yeah, I like the idea. I don't know if they do any good or if they interfere, but they shouldn't interfere because nothing's covering the antennas. Um, the Femi is a little bit disappointing. Uh, where, where are we now? We're at... It's taking a while to come back. It's a little disappointing, but it is what it is. It's a nice little drone, but it doesn't have, for me, it doesn't have near the range, so I know I can only safely go five or six hundred meters. So within the visual line of sight, which is five or six hundred meters, all three of them do pretty good. It's coming down. And we can look down. Yeah, that... Uh, the horizon's not bad. It's off a little bit. I've got to do some juggling with that, but... It's down a little to the left. And I noticed that, so I just have to change that a little bit. It's coming down. I'm going to try and do a hand catch again by just pulling down on the stick and see what happens. And if it doesn't work, I'll just send it back up again. Let's cancel this. And we'll come down. There we are. It's a big machine. Turn it around. A little bit up. Okay, let's see what happens. Up, 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 up. That's pretty good. A little awkward, but not bad. And it automatically stops the video.